what is up everybody I'm gonna do a quick video and just talk about some results that I have in dying or staining some fender uh, guitar knobs um, these were stark white as you can tell in the contrast of the paper behind these knobs so you can see that they've actually turned a really quite a bit um, basically I went down and I got the cheapest cup of coffee I could get at the gas station. I'm not normally a coffee drinker, so it was about $1.35. And uh, second to that, I think that is pretty important, at least uh, in my opinion. Um, I did get Fender Genuine Parts, and I've read in other places that certain other manufacturers' plastics don't always respond. So I think one thing, if you really want to get the results that I got or similar to what I have, definitely would get the Fender Genuine Parts. Uh, with the knobs and the little shifter, um, it was probably 13 bucks, so it really wasn't very expensive. So basically what I did, I didn't sand them down, steel wool, I didn't scrub them with anything. I just took them out of the package, brand new white, put them in the coffee, and I waited 20 minutes, and this is what they look like. Um, I didn't leave them any longer than that. These look to be about enough for what I need. So basically 20 minutes and afterwards I rinsed them off, washed them, scrubbed them. So the stain that you're seeing, it looks like it's, it's set in. So yeah, basically these are the results that I have. Um, I think it came out really well. So I just wanted to show everybody, um, and they're going to go on my classic vibe, uh, Squire fifties vintage blonde Telecaster. So, all right, everyone, peace out.